Good morning, everybody. My name is Justin. I'm the owner here at Share the Burden CrossFit, and uh, I'm actually a full-time high school teacher. So I teach at Pattonville High School. And before I started the gym, I was working with all the sports at Pattonville High School. Football, baseball, basketball, track, cheerleading, gym team, or like gymnastics girls. All of those people would come see me after school for their weight training. And one of the biggest mistakes I saw people make was poor nutrition. Not knowing what to put into your body. So just real quick, what's your name? Zach. Zach, what did you have for breakfast today? Uh, French toast. French toast, nice. What's your name? David. David, what did you have for breakfast? Protein bar. What kind? Uh, it's like Cliff Bars. Rory? Um, nothing. Nothing, good. What's your name? Charlie. Charlie, Charlie what'd you have? Eggs. Nice, I like that. Uh, Kellen. Kellen? <laughs> In the car. Fuel of champions. Nothing. <laughs> what's your name? Frankie. Crakey? Frankie. 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 Alright, you didn't have anything today? What time did you wake up? Like, oh, 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. Cooper. Cooper. Uh, Reese's Pops. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the moms involved. Jack is What's your name and what did you have? Uh, black coffee. Black coffee. Uh, protein bar. Protein bar. Nothing. <laughs> so, Coach Wolford is sharing with you the methodology that we describe here as CrossFit. CrossFit is constantly varied. We're always doing something new. Functional movement, meaning it applies to us in our everyday life. And then the third most important ingredient would be that relative intensity, that everybody pushes to their own relative intensity. But what I want to point out today is our pyramid of fitness. I don't know if you guys know how pyramids work, but a pyramid can only be as tall as the base is wide. It can only be as tall as the base is wide. So if you want to be at the top of your pyramid, basketball, football, dance, whatever that is. If you want to be at the top of your game, you have to have a very firm foundation, which is nutrition. And this is what we, this is what we subscribe to, not just as coaches, but this is what I do in my life. Nutrition has to be your primary focus. But before we get into too many of the details, out of those three things, Frankie, out of these three things, sleep, nutrition, or working out, in terms of accomplishing your fitness goals or your sports goals, which of those three would you say is most important? Nutrition. It's a good guess. A lot of people would say working out, but actually sleep is the most important thing you can do. If you're not getting good quality sleep, for most of you guys, it's at least nine hours a night. If you're not getting good quality sleep, what you're doing in the gym will not benefit you as much as it could if you're sleeping properly. Frankie, you were right, nutrition is number two. Number two, the working out part, it really doesn't matter what the program is. It doesn't really matter the weight and the sets that you do. If you're getting under a heavy bar and you're doing dynamic movement at intensity, you're gonna get bigger, badder, faster, stronger. But when we work out, when we actually train in here, for those of you guys that just worked out and then those of you getting ready to start, we're actually breaking down our muscle tissue. Now, I'm a high school history teacher, so I don't really know what they teach kids in health class these days. But from, from what I've heard, it's mainly about STDs and drug use. They don't spend a whole lot of time specifically talking about how to be healthy. When we work out, we have to be able to repair the muscles that we used because you're actually making yourself weaker when you work out. Did you know that? When you're training, when you're doing strength training in that moment, you are actually breaking down your muscle tissue. And if you actually want it to be able to build back up so that you can become bigger, fatter, faster, stronger, you have to have proper nutrition. I actually did an experiment, I don't think I told you, coach about this, but I did an experiment because I was so sick and tired of watching high school kids come to high school and drink chocolate milk for lunch that I wanted to throw up. 
the number of kids that I see come into my classroom at 8.30 a.m. with a bag of chips and a box of candy, all of that tells me is it's absolutely no surprise that 60% of adults in America are overweight or obese because those habits are just ingrained in us from a very young age. It should be illegal, and I'm pretty conservative, but it, it should be illegal to serve pizza for lunch. It should be against the law to serve you french fries for lunch. You should, you should get jail time if you're allowing kids to get Mountain Dew at school. Out of all of the things that we could possibly do to ourselves and our bodies that are bad, the nutrition is by far and away the worst. You guys know what the leading cause of death is in America? Heart disease. Actually, the top 10 leading causes of death in America, including cancer and Alzheimer's, are obesity-related illnesses. Now, I know you guys aren't here, okay, to listen to me yak at you all day about nutrition, but I want to drive home some very important points. We talked about what training does. We talked about the importance of sleep and nutrition, but I want to give you guys some of the nuts and bolts of what you should be eating. Do you guys actually know what protein does in the human body? Like, why would we eat protein other than to just get full? It's like first day of school all over again. No clue? Or you guys just don't want to talk? Something for muscles, maybe? Yes. The protein is actually what helps us rebuild our muscle tissue. So what happens, guys, is when you train, you get these little tiny tears in your muscle fibers. And then to actually get stronger, your body has to come around and put a new layer of tissue on top to repair that break. That's all working out is. Breaking your muscle tissue down and repairing the muscle tissue. You have to consume protein even for the ladies, if you want to get faster and stronger, more agile, more explosive. What about carbs? Do you guys know what carbohydrates do? In the fitness community, carbs are almost like a taboo topic. No carb, low carb, high glycemic index, low glycemic, but what do carbs actually do? This is so good. I feel like we're learning stuff today. I'm not telling you guys stuff you don't already know. Carbs are fuel. Carbs are fuel. Now, you can use protein for fuel, and if you're keto, you can use fat for fuel. But you guys are high-performance athletes. You have to fuel yourself with carbohydrates. So for the next two months, don't come and work out until you've eaten some carbohydrates. Can you work out without eating? Absolutely. Can it work for some people? Absolutely. For you as athletes, you have to consume carbohydrates for fuel. What about fat? This was huge for my generation. The 80s and 90s, low fat diet. What does fat actually do? It regulates our sleep. So you increase your fat intake, you will actually sleep better. It regulates our hormone production, okay? And at night when you're sleeping, if you consume good quality protein, carbs, and fats, you will actually repair your muscle tissue while you're sleeping. Gentlemen in the room, do you guys know what testosterone is? Have you at least heard the word before? Your highest level of testosterone is produced when you're sleeping. So if you're playing Fortnite till 1.30 a.m. in the morning and then you're waking up eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch before you come here and work out, you are setting yourself up, I'm not joking, you are setting yourself up for failure. You're setting yourself up for diabetes. That's how it works. And then you go to school and you drink soda or chocolate milk and it just makes the problem even worse. You have to consume protein, you have to consume carbohydrates, and you have to consume fat. Here are a couple of really easy rules for you. Are you ready for this? Protein. Anything that bleeds 
or breathes. Or in the case of eggs, at some point in their life cycle, they will breathe and bleed. A lot of people say, well, you can get plenty of protein from beans. You can get plenty of protein from legumes. You can, and I'm not trying to say that that's a bad thing or stuff on vegan toes or you know, veggie toes. Okay, but for you guys that are trying to fuel your body with high quality protein, the amino acid profile within that protein is highest in things that breathe. What are the examples? Meat, beef, pork, fish, eggs, anything that breathes or bleeds. Rory, thank you for asking the question. Appreciate you. Easy way to remember carbohydrates. Things that grow from the ground, right? Things that grow from the ground. Oatmeal, right? I'm gluten-free, but wheat, corn, all of those things come from the ground. Those are carbohydrates. So if you had cereal for breakfast today, you had carbohydrates. Fat, this is the tricky one. So I gave you guys some examples up here. Coconut oil and avocado oil are probably the two best sources of fat, okay? Olive oil as well, but it has a much lower burn rating, so if you're cooking your food in olive oil, okay, you're actually breaking down those fat molecules. So cook with avocado oil or coconut oil, much higher burn rating. Grass-fed butter, right? People always ask to say, well, how does grass, how does butter eat grass? Well, where does butter come? Cows, cows should eat grass, grass-fed butter. Now, there is good quality fat that you guys can find in fish, and there's good quality fat that you can find in red meat. But you have to be very careful, because the great value brand, Walmart ground beef, okay, that's a topic for another discussion. Okay, high quality protein. Um, let's talk about nutrient timings. This is more applicable to you guys as younger people. What should you eat before you work out? What should you eat after your workout? Well, for those of you that are coming here at 8.30 in the morning to train, you probably need to wake up by about 6.30 or 6.45 to consume your protein and your carbohydrates to give yourself enough time for that food to digest. Is if you have a bunch of food sitting in your belly, now your body's fighting a battle that it's going to lose. You need to shuttle blood to your limbs that are moving the weight, but when you consume food, your body shuttles it to your stomach. So you have to give yourself time um, for that food to digest. Now, I did bring in a couple of examples. So, I am not sponsored by First Form. This is just what I had here. Okay, if you go there, they'll you know, probably walk out the door spending $300, okay? But, simple carbohydrates. This is a great alternative. This huge tub of dextrose powder was like 15 bucks on Amazon. Very simple, okay? A scoop of this in a fast digesting protein shake would be perfect for you guys that are coming in here early in training and you're not having time. Who ate the eggs? Who ate the eggs? If you're not having enough time to eat the eggs, and let those digest. You don't need to go to First Form or Supplement Superstore and buy the $70 bottle of whatever. You guys are just starting. Pick the low-hanging fruit. Whey protein, fast to digest. Casein protein is slow to digest. You don't want to have that before you work out. What should you eat after you work out? Well, you should start hearing some common trends. Carbohydrates and protein. Why? You guys know why? He's, oh, coach said we have to eat protein and carbs. Why though? So here's what happens. When you consume carbohydrates, your body produces insulin in the pancreas to balance out those blood sugar levels. You get a big blood sugar spike and then you get a crash. That's why when you have cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast in the third hour, you're asleep. Don't tell me you're not. I've taught you. I see it in my classroom. 
they want to go to sleep. What happens is you, you eat those carbohydrates, you get an insulin spike, and it tells your body to store. What do we want it to store? The protein. So that will actually help shuttle the protein into your muscle cells. This is why we need to have carbohydrates and protein after we work out. Now, in an ideal world, I'd love to see everyone in here eat three quarters of a cup of oatmeal sweetened with stevia and cinnamon and three whole eggs an hour and a half to two hours before you show up here. I know that's probably not going to happen. So go online, find yourself a, a whey protein. It doesn't have to be the most expensive thing. Remember, you guys are picking the low-hanging fruit. An inexpensive whey protein and a simple carbohydrate to give yourself a little bit of fuel. Ideally, you guys are all going to go home shortly. That's when you can eat your first real meal. That's when you need to eat the fish, the beef, the pork, the chicken. That's when you need to eat the oatmeal or the gluten-free bread or the rice pasta. Like that's when you guys need to eat. If you want to grow, if you want to get faster and stronger, you have to eat. I did an experiment in my high schoolers. I asked for five volunteers. We did it for two months. I made a video. I sent it home, told their parents, this is what you need to go to the grocery store and buy. They all went to the grocery store and bought it. They brought it back to me. I took it home over the weekend. I prepped all of their meals for the week, just the food that they would eat while they were at school. And I did that for three meals a day for these kids. People that could not put on, I'm just naturally skinny. I'm just naturally thin. I can't add lean muscle mass. Okay, average weight gain was seven pounds in two months. Now ladies, I don't want you to be scared by this. You have to have lean muscle mass too. And the more lean muscle mass you build, the easier it is to get rid of body fat. Okay, so if you want to look jacked in the summer, you gotta eat more. What else am I missing? Okay, general rule of thumb, I am not a certified nutritionist, I'm not a doctor, okay? But generally speaking, how much protein should you be eating? About one to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. Most of you guys look, look like you don't have a whole lot of body fat, okay? So I just gave you an example down here. If you weighed 115 pounds, the average body fat for a typical male is about 15%. Ladies, I'm sorry. You're a little bit high, 20 to 25%. So you're gonna take that 150 and multiply that by that percentage. I get 22 pounds of fat. I'm gonna subtract that from 150 and that's gonna give me about 128 grams of protein in a day. Do not be sold lies. Your body can literally not assimilate more than about 25 to 35 grams of protein in a serving. You're like, well, I'm gonna double up on my protein shake, coach. I had 60 grams of protein. Congratulations, you just wasted your money because you pooped it all out. You only have a certain number of receptors in your intestinal wall to accept those proteins. Once they've been overloaded, you can't accept more. 25 to 35 grams in a city. What else am I missing? I think I covered most of it. Do you guys have any questions for me? This is something that I can geek out on for hours. I teach a current events class at Pattonville High School and I always have one week unit on nutrition because I'm so passionate about this. If you guys take away one thing from me today, you need to eat your protein, you need to eat your carbs, and you need to eat your fats. You need to properly time your nutrition around your training so that you guys can come in here and get the most out of your workouts. And remember, if you are not refueling your body with the stuff it needs, you will not be making the progress that you want or expect when you come in here. Guys, your parents, your guardians, are paying good money for you to be here. Okay, if I come back next week and I hear one freaking person say they had cocoa puffs for breakfast, it's a 
hundred burpees. It's inexcusable. You guys don't need to do that. A lot of you guys want to be here because you want to be exceptional at something. I'm going to say that again. A lot of you guys want to be here because you want to be exceptional at something. If you do what everyone else does, you will be exactly like everyone else. I get kids that tell me all the time, just why I'm, oh, we're, I'm going to be in the NFL. I'm going to be the NBA. What were you doing on Friday night? I was at a party. What time did you wake up on Saturday morning? 11.30 a.m. because I went to bed at 2. Are you eating chocolate milk and cereal for breakfast? Guys, it should not surprise anyone that if you act like everyone else, you will look like everyone else. If you want to be exceptional at something, you have to be more exceptional than other people. Coach Wolfer is going to bestow some wisdom upon you with this training program. We're going to give you guys the tools. But if you walk out of here and go home and have a bag of chips, you have just wasted your time. And this is not easy. We're going to be here this afternoon doing the same crap you're doing. I always loved that. When I was a coach, I always did all the conditioning work with my athletes so they could never complain. Coach makes his run too much. I'm going to run with you. Okay. Forget anything, say anything, miss anything? Anything that you could think of? Um, maybe I mean, a lot of these kids are active all day long, so what can they, what's a quick, what's a play eat quickly between four volleyball games or two lacrosse games? That's, or good, that's, so that's a good question. The, the cooler, just to refuel. So if you need something quick between games, like so let's say you only have a half hour or 45 minutes, Probably the only thing that you're going to be able to digest in that time is some fruit, some simple carbohydrates, and some whey protein. Okay? Protein bars are a good alternative, and you can incorporate them into your diet. If I were doing a CrossFit competition this coming weekend, and I had three workouts I had to do in one day, I would bring fruit, and I'd bring protein shakes. But you guys can set yourself up for success by having good quality whole meals two hours before you actually compete. Anything else? What about drinking drinks with weights? So great, great, great point. So those are all free calories, right? And not all calories are created equal. You can't just say, well, I had 2,000 calories. Well, what was your 2,000 calories? That's why Weight Watchers doesn't work long term because you can technically have whatever kind of calories you want and you might make a lot of progress at the beginning but then you're going to reach a wall. So beverages, you guys should probably know by now that your body needs about 60 ounces of water a day and that is decaffeinated beverages. So if you're having tea or coffee or bang energy drinks, that is actually a mild diuretic and will rid your body of water. So you have to drink plenty of water. Ladies in the house, <laughs> the likelihood of you having osteoporosis when you are old is through the roof. It's like almost unavoidable. So if you're drinking carbonated beverages, that is really bad for your bones. Okay? Don't drink juice. Eat fruit. Don't drink juice. Eat fruit. You guys have to stay hydrated. Okay? Great question. Other questions? Guys, if it were easy, and he's probably gonna drill this home point for the next couple of weeks. If it were easy, everyone would do it. But guess what? You guys have already done the hardest part. You got here at 8.30 in the summer. What are your buddies doing right now? You did the hard part, okay? Now you need to put the support into the system so you guys can get the most out of it. You can drop $200 on a brand new pair of cleats, but if you don't know how to run, those cleats aren't gonna help you. They're gonna help you. Other questions? I tried, oh, what did I get? Dang, I went over by one. But if you guys have more questions about this, please pull aside Coach Wolfer. Like I said, I could probably talk about this for three hours nonstop. 
but I'm trying to squeeze it in today in between classes. I know some of you guys came here just for the nutrition talk today. Thank you. Please do not underestimate the value of quality nutrition in your training. You guys can do it. Cool?